It has only been the last year where we've actively been involved in scoring music, or creating music for the game. The inspiration for the music comes from the characters in the game. There's two main characters. You play as this little boy, Monroe, and you also get introduced to this preposterously self-absorbed king that inhabits the world that you discover. And the idea of the music is to give you the sort of emotional understanding of what it's like to be Monroe and what it's like to be the king. The music as you're playing is constantly evolving, so it's never quite the same. You'll, you'll never play this game twice and hear quite the same balance of background music. And the idea there was that the music isn't just background music, it's part of the world. It's part of how you feel when you play it, it's part of how your character feels. We didn't want those two things to be separate. We wanted to feel like it was all one experience. I love this sort of scoring. It's really fun because it's more elemental. The music is uh, it's playful and it's not song form. So, you know, it's not A, A, B, A, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It's just much more uh, free flowing, fun. The music is also your guide through this environment. So, it functions in more literal ways, like it, it alerts you when there's danger in certain areas. But it also provides an emotional backdrop to the game that is meant to evoke what this world feels like. I collaborated with Peter Scaturo, music supervisor at Sony, who had seen some of my previous work. We just initially started talking, kicking ideas around about the game, then we, we jumped in and, and composed. We did music for a whole level, so not only the background music, but the in-game content, so some of the things that get triggered as a, as a result of player actions, and it worked really well. We got the go-ahead, and here we are. What Joel has been able to do uh, is combine some original Broke-inspired electronic pieces, but he's also infused a live quartet on top of it, so it has a little bit more of an organic feel to it. We relied a lot on plucked instruments like the harp, marimba, um, which, which tends to accompany Monroe, plucked strings, live strings. We chose synthesizer sounds that really complemented our acoustic palette. We're at a point where things have developed uh, to a very sophisticated level in which we're able to have the same high production value that you'd find in a Hollywood film. We also have the unique aspect of making the music interactive. That's the future of video game music. PlayStation.